Why, hello there! My name is Kendra Dick, and welcome to the Wittenberg Christmas Countdown. On the final day of our Christmas Countdown, we have Isaac Schlegel in our studio. Isaac is the co-leader of the Faith in Life Committee, and he's going to be doing some Christmas reading here on the show. Take it away, Isaac. Hello, this is Isaac Schlegel, one of the co-heads of the Faith in Life Committee. Today I'm going to be reading, for your pleasure, two sonnets from the Seven Sonnet Cycle La Corona, written by the late medieval poet John Donne. La Corona tells the story of Christ's birth and life and death and resurrection uh, with a set of seven sonnets, um, the last line of each forming the first line of the next. So I will be reading from there today. La Corona, this crown of prayer and praise, weaved in my low, devout melancholy. Thou which of good hast, yea, our treasury, all changing, unchanged, ancient of days. But do not with a vile crown of frail bays reward my muse's white sincerity. But what thy thorny crown gained, that give me. A crown of glory, which doth flower always. The ends crown our works, but thou crownst our ends. For at our end begins our endless rest. The first, last end, now zealously possessed, with a strong silver thirst, my soul attends. Tis time that heart and voice be lifted high, salvation to all that will is nigh. Annunciation. Salvation to all that will is nigh, that all which always is all everywhere, which cannot sin and yet all sins must bear, which cannot die, yet cannot choose but die. Lo, faithful virgin yields himself to lie in prison in thy womb, and though he there can take no sin, nor thou give, yet he'll wear, taken from death's flesh, which death's force may try. Ere by the spheres time was created, thou, what's in his mind, who is thy son and brother, whom thou conceivest, conceived. Yea, thou art now thy maker's maker and thy father's mother. Thou hast light and dark, and shut'st in little room, immensely cloistered in thy dear womb. Nativity. Immensity cloistered in thy dear womb, now leaves his well-beloved imprisonment. There he hath made himself to his intent, weak enough, now into our world to come. But oh, for thee, for him, hath the end no room? Yet lay him in this stall, and from the Orient, stars and wise men will travel to prevent the effect of Herod's jealous general doom. Cease thou, my soul, with thy faith's eyes, how he, which fills all place, yet none holds him, doth lie. Was not his pity towards thee wondrous high that would have need to be pitied by thee? Kiss him, and with him into Egypt go, with his kind mother who partakes thy woe. On behalf of myself, Gabby, Riley, and Ashton, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a wonderful Christmas break, and we'll see you next year.